Uh, I'm a terrible interviewer. So the uh, yeah, so um, y'all are at Simple Youth Ministry Conference. The and it's got a different format. I've never been myself, but from what I observed, and can you guys kind of share with me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, there. You know, the thing that is similar to um, uh, other other sort of youth ministry conventions is that it it definitely has you know those those large group gatherings a couple times a day. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of those um, has kind of a nor- more traditional speaker, and then one uh, tends to be m- more interactive. Even with you know several thousand people, um, it tends to be a little bit more interactive, a little bit more, you know, they just take some risks in yeah. the methods of engagement. Um, so you know that's that's a bit. The other thing is they don't have they don't there are no exhibits here. Um, oh really. There's no, I mean, like, there's no exhibit hall. There's some ministry partners that have, you know, tables and things around at different places, but, but there, there's, uh, there are no exhibits. And the other thing is that they really tend to drive home uh, sort of deeper learning tracks. So, mm-hmm. for example, yesterday Jeff and I taught uh, a course that was uh, six hours long, and uh, right now we have we're we're it's we're doing an eight hour course on this new book we've uh, that's coming out called. Uh, the indispensable youth pastor, and so um, so eight hours to allow people to sort of um, marinate in some concepts, maybe in a deeper way, and so the, you know that 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 tends to be the bread and butter. Then there's some what they call super sessions where they take these longer tracks and condense them down into an hour and a half, mm-hmm. um, and so that kind of happens near the end of the end of the time. Cool. So. The uh, Jeff, do you got something to add to that one? Or? No, I think he did a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay. So the uh, but thank you for asking. Hey, you know, well, uh, the uh, you mentioned your books that are coming out. There's uh, yeah, indispensable youth pastor, and the other ones like hiring the right way the yeah, first time, yeah. so you don't have to do it five times in the next five years, kind of. Right. Uh, that's the title you wanted to have, yeah. but the the publisher said it was too long. I think probably right. right. <laughs> Tell us. I, I don't. I haven't seen them. Uh, I've just seen your, the profile on uh, Youth Ministry Architect site. Um, a little bit there, but tell me a little bit about motivations for that one. It's it's a different audience than what you've written for. It sounds like. Yeah, I think um, you know the first thing I'd like to say is that Jeff has some things he'd really like to say about that, and I'd like to let him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, you need a rest. And, oh, I'm no, happy to talk no. about it because I know. And I, I'd love to hear Jeff as a fellow uh, United Methodist Tribes member. Um, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So. Um, what, before, before you. you oh, oh, I get it. You are, are going, going to, to say, say the same, same thing, thing I am. Okay. 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 <laughs> that was okay. funny. Let's keep Let's doing that. that. I don't, I don't think, think you can do, do it all, all day. day. That would, that be, would be too hard. hard. My, mother My mother said, said that you are, are so, so funny, funny that, that she, she almost let soda come out of her, her limousine. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's time to focus on Jeff. Jeff right. had some well, things to you know, say. Or we could just we could tell him one sentence at a time, uh, one word at a time. Okay. Uh, all right. When we wrote this book, we decided that we would try to help people who are on drugs. I was thinking crack myself, but uh, sure. All right. No, here's here's really the deal, Gavin. What what happened was we got into uh, the the business of understanding searches accidentally, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, When we worked with a lot of churches, Stop doing that. <laughs> when we were working with churches, um, we didn't want to be a search company. <laughs> we, uh, oh my gosh, you get the, you get the Jack Black thing every once in a while. Yes, totally, yeah. totally get Jack uh, Black. All right, so um, <laughs> so when you, if you show this, you can uh, sh- insert a quick picture of yourself. I'm so um, so what happened was, <laughs> what it was, well, we're in, we're in turmoil, we're in transition, we need right. to hire somebody. What can you tell us? And the truth is, at the beginning, we couldn't tell them much. Um, we weren't experts on searches, but we needed to become experts. And so trial and error. Um, so we're really grateful for the first few churches who uh, walked with us through that. Uh, but after a couple of dozen of those, you start to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And what you also discover is that 
Um, every church that goes through the search process is doing it for the first time. Even if they're doing it two years after their last one, it's a whole new mm -hmm. group of people. So everyone invents it brand new every yeah. time. And it's, it's a complex process, and to have to invent it from scratch every time is, is not fair. So we yeah. decided to put what we had on paper and uh, – Help yeah. the search committees a little bit. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a great point, Jeff. I, you know, I had never really thought about that. I mean, you, you may have one person or two people possibly. At this, are y'all trying to outdo each other's height now? <laughs> <laughs> Clown. <laughs> but no, that, I, that's a great point. Yeah. So here's a quick. Or so y'all's y'all's voice has m mainly been within the youth ministry circles of you know, like right. how do you, how we. I'm, I was kind of contemplating, it's like, how can a book like this get into the lay leader's hands of, you know, the middle of the road, middle of the, you know, echelon kind of church that's hiring, you know, they hire that singular youth pastor, um, they probably don't have the the greatest amount of resources, they, they probably don't, and the pastor's probably too zapped to actually get into, like, hey, what's going on in the youth ministry world right now? Right. Um, like how I don't know. It's like what's y'all? I, I I was thinking distribution, but maybe that's not the thing. But how do you plan on getting kind of the word out that this is a, a valuable resource? That so, is it, is that a big loaded question? Do y'all have a script for that one? No, the laughing is don't put that. Don't put that on there because you would totally take. Okay, never mind. Finally recorded. Okay, never mind. Um, something funny. I'd happen. like to tell you the answer to your question. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, wow, I'm going to get answers to questions. No. Um, <laughs> what was your question? No, no. That's all right. What was his question? Oh, here's the, uh, let me just tell you. Oh, man. <laughs> the, uh, is it usually easier than this? Uh, <laughs> it's usually professional. So. <laughs> okay, so here's the answer. Here you go. Um, uh, group actually asked us the same question after... Uh, you know, after we had get, had the the book uh, after written, they asked us to write the book, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, they thought, and, and how, then we wrote it. How are we going to distribute this thing? And so, you know, part of uh, what we've realized is um, we're going to have to be engaged in that in some way. And so, we actually, as sort of a supplement to the book, have created. Uh, you know, sort of a monster dot com for youth ministry called hireyouthpastor dot com. Oh, cool! Um, which will be a natural place for churches to come. Mm -hmm. to post their openings and for people who are searching for positions to come and post their resumes. Um, and that can also be a natural place where we can offer these resources. It's not just a book, uh, though the, the print is helpful. Um, there's also a CD where we've got, you know, 20, 30, 40 different, you know, forms and, you know, things like uh, just sort of a standard rejection letter and, yeah. you know, a standard we're going to get back with you at a certain time and timelines and that sort of stuff that can be customized for an individual church. Sure. So they're just in normal Microsoft Word format. Yeah, that, I was looking at that. That looked like a pretty helpful resource, kind of the stock template stuff to, to play off of. Yeah. So, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the uh, that's going to be hire, hire a youth minister. Before you hire, well, oh, hireyouthpastor.com hire is youth. the website. Yeah, okay. Before you hire a youth pastor is the resource. That's yeah. hireyouthpastor.com. Hireyouthpastor.com. Hire, hire, hireyouthpastor.com. Hire. Well, and so the next book's about firing and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would be a good book to say before you fire your youth pastor and talk through oh, how do you, oh. how do you, you know, save that, that relationship. Instead of firing the person and starting all over again, how can you instead uh, build on that relationship and make it work? It's a great idea. Yeah, why don't they, you write that one? You want me? <laughs> Mark, Mark knows I have some biases in that regard, but I'd be happy to write a resource. It's like. Personal experience there. <laughs> about. Uh, yeah, let's just say I've been around this the track for a while, so. Yeah, <laughs> 